Hello everybody and welcome to Skip Allen Paints. I follow a forum called Painter Factory. It's a forum for painter users and it's provided by a uh, Corel Painter. It's a great place to go and ask questions, answer questions, um, share your work, and you can even uh, make suggestions to the development team for um, enhancements or new functions that you'd like to see in upcoming versions of Painter. It's a great place to go. I was following a thread uh, the last few days uh, that's really about, uh, it was a newcomer to Painter asking if he should get the Wacom uh, uh, art pen. And there were some great comments on it and lots of information uh, in the thread. But it made me realize that I've never really talked about the art pen and how powerful it is in Painter. And so I thought I would like to do a blog post about the Wacom art pen uh, and how you can use it with the Intuos 4 and Intuos 5. All righty, so let's take a look at the first thing we should look at, and that is up here under Edit, Preferences, <clears throat> Interface. Now, if you're on a Mac, it would be Corel Painter Preferences Interface. And what I want to show you is that I've selected Enhanced br Brush Ghost. That's a G there. <laughs> I have my icons, I mean, my, my fonts made larger than normal, and so sometimes they don't fit. But anyway, I use Enhanced Brush Ghost, okay? So let's click OK on that. And look at what the enhanced brush ghost looks like. What you see, and I'm in, using the grip pen right now, you see a circle with a little dot in the center. And as I get closer to the tablet, you can see there's a line that uh, comes out from that center. What that line does is it shows the direction of the stylus. In other words, with it right now, that means that the stylus is angled to the tablet and the tip, the upper tip, is pointing toward me. Doing it this way, the upper tip is pointing the other direction. Okay, so that's what that little dot means. Now let's move over to the art pen. When I go to the art pen, everything is the same you can do the little line from the center, but there's one different point, and that's that little dot or pearl <laughs> that's on the ring there. And if, if you notice, I can make it go around the ring. And the way I'm making it go around the wing ring is I am twisting the barrel of the uh, art pen. So what it means is that the art pen is capable of barrel rotation, just like if you had a flat paintbrush and you were painting with it, you can paint with the wide flat end, or you could turn the brush slightly and paint uh, along the skinny edge. You know, um, for instance, let's see if I can do it better this way. All right, so if the brush looks like this, I can paint with the flat edge pulling straight down. Or the brush, if I turn it like this, I, to the side, I could paint a, a thin line coming from the side as opposed to a thick line or a thick space. And so I could turn the barrel of this um, brush in order to deter to decide how I want to paint with it, the, the, how much of the bristles that I might want to use, I guess would be a way to think about it. Okay. And so basically an art pen has the ability to rotate the barrel, okay? That's the basic uh, concept of the art pen. 
All right, so now that's enough for this particular video. I want to keep them short. And so let's uh, stop here and we'll come back and explore a bit more about the art pen. All righty, bye-bye.